The story for Straight Bolt by J.T. Whitman is... J.T. Whitman tells a unique story about people who get caught by a rare natural phenomenon, a straight lightning bolt. These straight bolts repel bystanders back in time. What would you do if you suddenly found yourself back in time? These, this action-packed novel describes the lives of three individuals with different motivations for wanting to change their lives for the second time around. Wyatt Coleman is transported back from 1999 to the 1970s and wants to know why. Jennifer Thomas is propelled from her spoiled lifestyle in 1992 and is forced to change it in 1968. Elisayo Munoz uh, has just been released from prison in 1991 and is overcome with power and greed upon his return to 1984. Learn how these three people change the future. I have to admit, I really did like this book. I thought it was very thrilling, very well written. I love the concept of just how nature has a way of sending people back in time through thunderstorms. Because, because scientists has you know described that the only way you could really travel back in time is through a huge amount of energy. It's just energy. But what type of energy, nobody really knows. And lightning is, is a pretty good way. I mean, Back to the Future even did, you know, lightning bolt. Uh, if you remember at the end of Back to the Future, they had a lightning bolt to go into the uh, into the flux capacitor and jigweight the 1.21 gigawatts. Uh, so it was a nice way to have a natural way and maybe even reference Back to the Future. Uh, but the concept and some of the tension, there were actually really good tension sequences and uh, action sequences and chase sequences towards the end of the book. They were very tense, very exciting, and very well written and fun to read. Um, to me, the most interesting character in this story, not to, not to say any other characters are bad, they have some uh, good story, they, they are good characters that have some good storylines to them, but I felt that those are the characters, their character development wasn't as well done as this character. Their character developments are good, but it just seems like they change rather too suddenly. Like, it's just like one paragraph describes, oh, you know, they decided to do this and this, and, and, they, they, um, and then they just change for the good. With this one, with, with Elisayo, uh, it just seems more more of a gradual change, like over time. Like you get to know one side of him before you know before you see another one, another side of him to make him change the way he is towards the end of the book. It was really well done. I liked that character. It was really he was also more exciting because of th because of what he's done. He goes because he's a drug dealer, so he was more exciting in that re respect. Again, not to you know say the other ones were bad too. They had good stories like White and Jennifer have a nice romance story. Uh, which is very touching, and I like that too. And um, and all uh, uh, and all the storylines uh, uh, together were good because of how they interact with each other, how this storyline will affect the other one, and how it will affect the past, the future, and just how everything is just arranged. It's just pretty well done. I, I admit I was very well surprised. To me, just reading the back of this and looking at the book, you can kind of see, you know, this is probably just going to be a simple thriller. To which it is, however, what's in it is very thrilling. I mean, when you really look at it, uh, the books of Dan Brown with the Robert Langdon novels are simple thrillers themselves, but they have a lot more in them that make them grander, much like this one. At first, you'd think, oh, this is just going to be a simple thriller, like I said earlier, but it has a lot more in it to make it grand. So, I have to compliment on J.T. Woodman with that. Um... If you are a fan of just science fiction and time travel, you will like this book, um, which is what appealed to me about it. I'm a science fiction nerd. Um, if you like, uh, if you like thrilling novels too, this would appeal to you too. If you like romance stories or um, kind of cop dramas, uh, this is, you'd, you'd kind of enjoy this one too. I, like I said, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I liked it. It was fun to read, and and I do recommend it for others to read it as well. Out of five stars, I'd have to give this one two and a half stars out of five. Very well done. Uh, very well done, J.T. Whitman. I would like to read more from you. I'd like to see more of what you have, so maybe I might pick it up another book from yours in the future. Uh, this book was actually given to me by my mother. Um, she actually met him at a, at a book signing. You know, she actually got a signature from him. So, uh, and she passed this on to me, and I enjoyed her, and I thank her for giving this to me. It was fun, and uh, if you ever pick this up, I hope you enjoy it, too. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.